Jessica here and I'm excited to bring you my fourth free Photoshop brush for the 36 days of type prompt. And so hopefully you guys have been having a lot of fun with the brushes so far. I've gotten a lot of great feedback and I really love taking the opportunity with these prompts to kind of make some brushes that are a little crazy. You know, they're not like your workhorses, but sometimes they can feel like a really neat, uh, cool niche or you can do some really cool things with them. So I like being able to highlight some individual brushes that I just think are really cool. So what I did today was make a furry brush to make the letter D. And if you're not familiar with um, loading brushes, you want to have your brush panel open. And I have the brush saved as two formats. Uh, if you're using the newer version of Photoshop, you can use the regular ABR brush format. And then if you're on like CS6, um, an older version of Photoshop, you can use um, the TPL file. So if you go to Windows Brushes to open that up, you can open up your brush panel. And then to load the brush, you just go to the top right corner and click um, Import Brushes. And then if you're using the tool presets, you make sure that you have your tool presets window open, window, tool presets, top right corner, load tool presets. And so load up either file. And what's really cool is whenever I um, saved these, they're sa everything is saved for you. So it's got the pattern in there, it's got the colors, and all you have to do is just draw. So you can just pick up the brush and draw like that. And so I'm just gonna cut this. And I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to draw a little D and you can do all kinds of fun things with this brush. So I'm just gonna go like this. And it just really has this really cool furry look that I love. And what's cool is in this brush is I'm using the brush tip is like one of the bristle brushes from Photoshop and I have a texture in there. So I've just played around with it and what's cool is we're using the pattern stamp technique, which um, if you guys follow my, follow my brushes and follow my tools, I use all the time. So over here, we're using the pattern stamp tool. Um, you know, so we're not selecting the brush as a regular brush, it's pattern stamp tool. And we are painting this leopard pattern. And so it, it, I've specially designed this so that it disperses the things a little bit, but it still keeps that alignment. And we're using it with the impressionist mode turned on and the aligned turned on. And that's what keeps that um, kind of pattern below there. So you get the idea of the leopard print. So it's really fun. And you could do some really fun things with this. You don't have to do a letter, but I just love it. And uh, if you look here, I just to give it a little more drama um, on my D, I had added a little bit of a drop shadow. So you can uh, download my demo file for free. So that's really cool. And if you're interested, um, I was playing around with some of my 24 karat gold Photoshop brushes. Oops, let's wait for that to finish. My um, processor gets a little overworked whenever I'm doing videos. So um, I made these, I was playing around with my 24 karat gold collection and I actually made a new brush that I'm like loving right now for these side accents because with the fur and the red, I just thought it would be perfect to add a little bit of gold. So I thought it would be really cool. And I'm just gonna turn those off and I'll turn this off because I just wanna show you this gold. And um, I'm actually gonna make this available on my Patreon. But this is, um, it's really cool because if you press lightly you're gonna see this pattern this like leopard print pattern that I have in there and as you can see the gold is moving around in that pattern it's really cool um, and so it's like live you know it's not a layer style this is 100% Photoshop brush but then if I push down it fills it in but you can go lightly again over the top and still see that pattern again and actually when I sampled my gold I used my gold palette from my 24 karat gold collection and I clicked like here so I had a little bit of dark and a little bit of light and when I did that the results just looked really cool and you can make these like really glamorous crazy gold brush strokes just like that so a little uh, side note on my gold on the side but I wanted to share that with you and actually I'm going to be uploading that to my patreon so you can check that out too if you want 
And hopefully you enjoyed the free brush and let me know if you have any questions and come back tomorrow and see what kind of brush I have uh, for the letter E. So thanks so much.